video coverage of IT Expo is brought to you by Content Boost, the content marketing specialists. Amplify your sales today. Hi, Rachel Ramsey here, IT Expo in Miami. I'm here with Larry Lissler, the president of Embrace Business Consulting. Welcome, great to have you. Thank you for having me. So just tell us a little bit about Embrace and uh, what you do. Sure. Uh, Embrace is entering its 10th year of doing go-to-market business uh, consulting for both incumbent medium to large service providers in this arena and as well uh, working with entrepreneurs who are bringing next generation services, leveraging various communication technologies to do so. Uh, we work with uh, a cross section of those businesses to help them uh, position themselves better in the market, help them determine the sales channels that um, that they can succeed most in, uh, and um, you know, help to equip their sales people with the right tools to uh, to win in their markets. Um, uh, we've also, uh, for many years, uh, been the producer of Startup Camp here at IT Expo. We've run eight of those, and uh, uh, those just allow us to really um, spend a lot of time with very early stage innovators, folks who are usually their, their business is under a year old, um, and just kind of stay acquainted with what, it, what it's like to run a business that's six months old, so that when we're working with customers whose businesses are 15 years old, um, you know, we can afford them some of those fresh strategies and perspectives. Great. Yeah. So you're speaking this week at IT Expo. I am speaking a few times this week. Uh, once uh, we talked this morning about uh, the cloud and its revenue opportunities in the SMB. Uh, on Friday, uh, a little bit about where the enterprise video um, space is going. Um, but I would say the one that I'm, you know, uh, have looked most forward to this week is this afternoon, and um, the title. Uh, <laughs> be it the right one or not, is the repurposing of telecom into killer tools for acquiring, growing, and retaining customers. And um, the reason that, um, that I picked that is because I think, you know, there's a lot of discussion these days about how telephony is now just becoming a feature of the web or voice is no longer a service, it's the feature of something else. And I think all those things are true. Um, and then there's an area in particular where it's really starting to move, which is where marketing automation, uh, which are all these various tools that help businesses automate the way that they acquire leads, convert leads, nurture leads, uh, retain their customers, grow their customers, you know, the whole salesforce.com community, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and. and that marketing automation on itself is on just a just on a rocket ship right now, and it's really driven by the fact that you know the cost at which businesses acquire their customers is becoming their all be metric, and therefore, marketing technology is in itself a big segment. Marketing used to used to think of just people and services and help and support, but really now it's a big technology segment. So uh, my point that I'm getting to is that marketing automation, there's an intersection between marketing automation and telephony that we're seeing a growing number of instances of. Um, one of the simplest ones of it to understand is the business of call tracking. And call tracking has been around for a while, but it's only really recently that I'm starting to feel it really go mainstream. And basically what that means and, you know, uh, call tracking like any like any service there's basic and then there's really robust so it doesn't matter which one for purposes of this discussion but what it really means is for years as a business we are, we, 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 we spend money with Google we monitor our clicks we pay for clicks uh, we do organic search optimization we are trying to get people who are spending time living in different parts of the web or in mobile environments to come to us to then do something with, nurture them, convert them, do something. Mm -hmm. um, but for years, that's really all we've done, uh, is monitor and optimize and pay for these clicks or conversions. But really, there are so many businesses still today, notwithstanding all the technology, who need a phone call to move a prospect from A to B, from B all the way to close. There's any number of industries for which selling over the phone is still not only helpful but critical they can't get deals done without it and so call tracking is really 
the notion of applying the, the disciplines of tracking, uh, of doing SEO and tracking all those clicks and conversions up to the phone call. And it's the ability to say, you just called me and now I can see that you called because you were searching under uh, the um, keyword uh, telecom trade show. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that because that that's then integrated, let's say, to my sales force, I know that that call lasted a certain amount of time. I've got some information about that call. I can now determine that, you know what? That was a good call. I'd like to buy more of those. So I'm going to double down on that keyword. Uh, as simple of example as that may be, but the, just the notion of actually now having the intelligence of saying, this, is, this spend, this advertising spend, is generating the type of calls my business needs. I'm going to go get more of them. It's, it's still quite a new concept. Most businesses I talk to don't do it. They don't totally understand it. But if you ask them, do you want more phone calls? Yeah. Do you need phone calls to close business? Yeah. Are you tracking how you're getting them? No, not really. So um, that's some of the things we're going to be talking about today and how a number of these tools are evolving to really make marketing automation better by allowing you to bring voice calls into it. Yeah, it's kind of like the next generation of uh, multi-channel integration. It, it is part of, it is one of the channels, mm -hmm. I think, uh, and like any channel in marketing, there's so much analytics behind every, we, everybody wants to know so much data, but somehow the phone call, since we've been doing that forever, that, that already existed before the whole analytics world hit us, we're not, we're not paying so much attention. And there's so much more that, that, that this is going to avail us as a customer service company or as a, you know, as a inbound call center for closing business because now you're going to be able to do things with those visitors in a dynamic or programmatic sense. So case in point, uh, I'm in a call center for inbound calls. Those calls are being generated by 30 different Google campaigns that I'm running. And a couple, a couple examples uh, that, of, of scenarios and something like that. When you implement this intersection between marketing automation and telephony. One is, I know now that this person who has clicked the button or, picked or dialed the phone, I know that they've been at my site seven times in the last three days. I know that in particular they're spending time on this one piece of the site there's five people ahead of that person in the queue, but he or she's been back seven times in the last three days, dynamically, I'm gonna send them to the front of the line mm -hmm. because I have an opportunity to convert that customer. I don't want them to leave. I don't wanna lose them. They have no idea that that's what I'm doing for them. They're having a great experience, mind you, but I am in a dynamic way making decisions that improve the way that I close business. Or another example of using that data that you now have would be as I mentioned, you have many different Google campaigns running. Um, you see one, one caller that's coming in on the campaign that says, what is a trade show? You see another one that says, compare IT Expo to Enterprise Connect. Those are your two campaigns. Well, the one who says, what is a trade show? They're at the early stage of looking into, what are, maybe I should be going to a trade show. Well, I might transfer that person to Rachel because Rachel's really our relationship builder. She's really good at taking someone who's just getting started, doesn't know much, make them comfortable, talk to them, and move them along the sales funnel. The one who says, tell me the difference between these two events, I got to get a closer after that person. So I might send the call to Larry and I can push to Larry on the screen. This is what they came in for. This is how, how long they've been waiting. These are the sites that they visited, all these things before. My point being, I can push those calls based on the campaign they come into to the right type of agent so that I am mapping the right skills to the right caller to achieve the most optimal results. Sounds like a really, really great panel, really interesting and lots of potential. Yeah, yeah, it's explain. exciting. I, I'm particularly excited about it just because I've been working with different startups since this came to market, which was already five, six years ago. And like anything else you've seen come through your desk here, as exciting as it can be before it really goes mainstream, yep. it takes a long time because yeah. everybody else is trying to go mainstream and only so many can go at once. So, but I, but, I, but I think it's exciting and I think it will get mainstream because of the fact that it's targeting 
people's cost of acquiring a customer, and there's no business unless they're not for profit for whom that is not a critical metric. Yeah. Larry, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank great, you for great having me. You and nice enjoy to the see show. you again. Okay. Thank you. Video coverage of IT Expo is brought to you by Content Boost, the content marketing specialists. Amplify your sales today.